Hey, what is up, guys? Fox HD with another video to our YouTube channel, guys. In this video, guys, I'm gonna go to an in depth review of um, Video Leap. I promised to do it, so here it is, guys. In depth review of Video Leap, or as you want to call it, part two of the best video editor, in my opinion. I'm just gonna open it right here, guys. Oh, I was trying to do something. Let's just read everything and start from the basics, guys. First, uh, just let's add a video that I already showed you on part one. Check that out if you guys haven't. Um, so basically, let's just add a video um, from stock and blah blah blah. Let's add this city. I like that this video, the city. I think it's pretty cool. Now, basically, guys, um, I'm gonna show you some features that I haven't shared yet, guys. Like chroma key, green screen, um, keyframes. Um, yeah, guys. I'll see if I remember more stuff. Um, adding text. Oops. Adding text, guys, and all of that. All of that stuff, guys. So let's get right into the video, guys. So basically, guys, let's start by doing green screen or chroma key or chroma. Basically, first thing you're gonna guys gonna need a photo or a video which has a blue green screen or blue or green background on it. Um, so it def so it defires from the person or object. I don't know if that's a word of defier. I don't know, guys. Basically, let's just add a video in the stock. It comes with four videos, or five, sorry, which have green screen on it. Let's, I'm just gonna use this moon for purpose of example. More details on a video, it, it's more difficult, but this one is pretty easy. So basically, what you guys gonna need to do this, you're just gonna click on the subject, or on the clip, on the photo, or on the thing that you want to use the green screen on so basically we want to use it on the video of the moon so we're just gonna click the moon scroll to the right and we're gonna find a button that says chroma just click that guys Boom. Um, it's doing the chroma but it's not doing where we want it we wanted to remove the green screen so basically to do that we're just gonna gather a you're gonna get as you guys can see there's a red circle on the middle we're just gonna push it to the green screen guys and boom that is basically it guys that is how to add green screen now you can see down there that we have two settings threshold and spread so basically this this let you 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 guys can try to mess around i really just leave it on the preset but it gives you like the opacity or the i don't know guys just try messing around seeing what you guys think it's pretty cool and the spread guys it's pretty dark I don't know if I... but that's basically how to add a green screen video guys now that we have that guys let's do keyframes keyframes are awesome because you can do many things with keyframes guys um, many things um, so basically I'm gonna make it uh, if, so let's start from the beginning guys if you don't know what a keyframe is it's something like you f f keyframe a part of a video which starts small and you keyframe another one to go big so from that from that section of the video that you keyframe it it's gonna go big so the only that section that you keyframe the other one's gonna be normal so to i'm gonna show you um it's gonna be easier if you see it so basically i'm just gonna use the sun subject the moon we're gonna keyframe it so it starts small and it goes big you can also keyframe um other stuff like text um filters effects but let's just do the moon so basically we're just gonna add a keyframe the keyframe is a small prisma or with a plus down below the big plus sign which is right here I'm just touching when you when you put it on your clip it's gonna show another prisma so let's just put one here and we're just gonna scroll to the video that we want to the other one, pre the other keyframe to me. And we're just gonna make it bigger. And it will automatically put a keyframe there. So basically, that's basically it, guys. So basically, we just press play. And when it starts keyframing, it goes bigger until it reaches that point. And boom. That, that's it, guys. There's no magic to it. That's basically it, guys. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna show you an example now. If you want to do with, I don't know, you could do it with opacity. So here's really clear, and here is pretty dark. Clear. Now let's try that. 
pretty cool guys you can do a lot of stuff with this guys um the limit is your imagination guys now let's see let's do another example with keyframes let's put some filter on so base oh so basically let's go to the video and oops let's do brightness I want it to start very bright very bright and go very there let's try that so it's very bright I don't know if you guys can see it and it should get darker and it's getting dark that's it that is awesome guys so guys you guys can see that you can do a lot of stuff with this guys um it's really simple this video editor I I, I made a I did some research and I, I found that this one is the easiest one to use guys now let's add some text like if you want to do some intros you want to do subtitles whatever you guys gonna do let's add some text so I'm just gonna delete this one and let's add another video on um, let's add this guy oh I put it on the wrong one Boom. okay we add this guy guys basically let's add a text it's as simple as down on the bottom there's a button that says text you just want to click that boom you can edit your test let's edit our text to put hey guys Oops. subscribe ha <laughs> pretty cool ha <laughs> basically oh also forgot you can also use keyframes for this guys if you want to do a small to big one I'll show you in one moment so basically touch it you can choose your font you can do cool fonts like that one any font that you guys want you can choose your color means of color here guys to choose let's do a blue one pretty cool um no. let's do a yellow one or something because it doesn't appear with this You can choose your opacity, guys. That's pretty good. Um, your blending to the video. So, guys, if you want like it to appear like this, like it's you guys should play with this. It's pretty cool. You can do some pretty nice effects. I haven't, I haven't been able to play with this. I'll try to do some. I'll try to play, uh, check it out and um, update you how to use it, but. I'll check that out guys I haven't really checked uh, used that but you can choose also your mask so it, it, it's, it's masking from something a mirror the radio and the rectangle and stroke shadow alignment it's pretty cool you can do a shadow now let's add a keyframe with this basically we just go to the keyframe button boom now let's make it that small so when we want it to get bigger we can also make it move to the middle and get bigger let's try to do that it's moving to the middle and it's getting bigger at the same time that's awesome for intros outros channel trailers um subtitles or whatever guys you want to use the text now let's remove that now i think that's let's try some effects guys um some of them are you need to have the pro version um but some of them are free like this prism it, it basically like gives you a like it distorts the video we, I, I, you can also let me show you you can also do outros with this if you edit this video here i have done this at basically we use the prism effect and some keyframes to do a cool effect on the video guys now let's check that out you can see like the it's distorting it's pretty cool guys it's mixing with the ambient it's pretty cool guys you can do a lot of stuff with this effect let's check another effect guys I do not know what this one is 
looks like a more old school video from my dad. Yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool guys. It's like, no school. That's pretty cool guys. Um, let's remove the vid. Another effect, um, thing brain. And I'm gonna change the video because this one's not really working to do the effects here. Just a moment. Sorry guys if this video is too big. I just, there's a lot of features in this video editor. What does this do? Some of them I just don't get. They should do cool stuff, I just don't get it. Let me, I, I don't know guys, I'm gonna have to do some research on that guys. Glitch, glitch I do know how to use. Basically if you wanna pixelate something, could just do that like if you want to blur somebody's face pretty cool if you're doing I don't know a prank and the person doesn't want to show their face just pixelated and you also what can you do with it you can add a keyframe guys let's say the person is moving um let me give an example we want to add a keyframe here his mouth let's say the person is moving I'm just give you an example it starts here add a keyframe right there guys Oops. add a keyframe Keeps on moving. Boom, he moves his. You add another key. You wanna add a, oh wait, sorry. So let's remove this keyframe and add a keyframe. Boom. And boom. And boom. Check that out, bros. It'll take some time to get used to keyframing, but it's pretty cool when you, you when you master it, guys. Look, boom. That's it guys. Um pretty awesome features on this guys I really like recommend it guys that you guys give it a chance to go on your video editing guys at least for one there's many other features guys I call I covered some of them guys um, if you guys want to check the pro version there's also available the pro version I think it's a little expensive guys I'm not gonna lie um, it's a little bit expensive um, 70 bucks a little bit expensive guys but if that's what you want you just want you don't want to use sony vegas you don't want to use um final cut pro you just want to go with your cell phone uh, i'll recommend it guys it's a pretty solid cool video editor guys so guys that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys like it um try to do more videos this guys because i have um a long weekend guys so check those videos out if i post some guys thanks for watching thanks for tuning in Signing off for now.